guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com. Now last week I posted a video of me doing my first session trying to learn this Glide 3 electric unicycle that InMotion sent me. And I spent about a half hour and I got to the point where I could basically ride it straight, but I was having trouble figuring out how to turn. Now I've since done a second session, about another half hour, and I learned a few tricks that made me feel pretty comfortable. And now you can see I'm basically able to ride this thing around and steer and follow a trail. So I wanna share with you guys some of those tricks that I learned in my second session and show you how you can better learn to ride one of these awesome electric unicycles. Now the first trick I learned is to move to an area that has some type of confined trail as soon as you start to feel stable. I started in a soccer field, which was good in the beginning because it meant there was nothing for me to run into. But once I started feeling stable, I wasn't really practicing turning because I was just going wherever the unicycle was taking me. And so I didn't force myself to be confined to a path. So as soon as I moved to this path, suddenly I found that I was forced to learn to steer and that just sort of helped it click in my mind as I learned to follow the path. Now the second major trick is to look off into the distance instead of what's directly in front of you. When I first started on my first session, I was definitely looking right down in front of the unicycle. And that's a problem because even though instinctively you want to look at what you're about to roll over, it makes it harder to balance. And I should have known this because last year I started learning to slackline with a friend of mine and what we found was that the best way to balance was to pick a fixed point in the distance to look at. That way you have a reference point. And the same thing holds true for the unicycle. When you're going, instead of looking down in front of you, look off towards the horizon or at a point farther up on the path. And that way you've got some point for reference that's not going to be moving much and that will help your body sort of subconsciously learn to balance by looking at that reference point in the distance. Now that leads me to the third trick I learned, which is that a lot of this is just subconscious. You can't try and fight the unicycle and you shouldn't even try and balance yourself because balance is really sort of an involuntary action. The best thing that you can do, and this is the third tip, is just relax and sort of enjoy the ride. In the beginning, it'd be a little tricky because it's stressful, you hop on, you're falling off. But as soon as you start to feel a little bit stable, just try and relax, you know, loosen up your body, still stand up straight, but just, you know, ease the body and don't fight it. As soon as you do that and you're looking down the path ahead of you, your body's just going to sort of learn to balance on its own once you stop trying to tell it what to do. So as soon as I just relaxed and started enjoying riding the unicycle, all of a sudden my body just figured it out and it, it just sort of clicked in like a minute. And it's hard to describe, but really it was just a matter of relaxing, not fighting it, and letting my body figure out what to do on its own. Now one other thing I want to show you guys is how short of a period it actually took me to become pretty stable on this electric unicycle. I charged it up when I first got it, and now it is at still over half of a battery. I hope you can see that with the reflection. It's at about two-thirds of the original charge from when I charged it. And so this is about three riding sessions. The first two were about a half hour each, though the first one didn't have a whole lot of long riding, admittedly. <laughs> The second one I was riding around this park a lot and now this is basically the third session that I've been filming here. And I've learned to ride pretty well in uh, just almost a half of a battery. So it really doesn't take that long if you've got a decent sense of balance. Now I do slackline and I ride electric skateboards so uh, I do have a somewhat tuned sense of balance but you don't have to be great at lots of sports, you don't have to be super athletic to ride one of these and I think I'm a good example of that. And so I hope you guys found that video helpful. And last but not least, it's time to announce the winner of the book giveaway from my last video. And the randomly chosen commenter is... Matthew Fensterhold, something like that. All right, so thanks for commenting, Matthew. Shoot me an email at the address listed above. Let me know which one of my books you'd like. You're the ultimate do-it-yourself e-bike guide, DIY lithium batteries, or DIY solar power. And anyone else who wants one of my books, Feel free to put any comment you want in this video, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.